welcome back to another brand new video i hope you're all doing okay so for today's video i am going to do a little like get ready with me um it's basically at my birthday meal tonight so it's currently wednesday night um i thought i and my birthday's on the friday um but i'm doing my birthday meal tonight just so people can get it a little bit cheaper because obviously it's eat out to help out um so we thought that would be a good idea to do it tonight we're going to a Indian restaurant um it's called the Mezban in Tewkesbury it's been there a couple of months now but it's um still like new so we're gonna go and eat there hopefully it's not gonna be too hot because it's literally I've literally just had the most coldest shower ever and I am sweating already I've literally just got a vesty top on I've got no bottoms on so good job you can't see that um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do like a little get ready with me. Excuse my face, it's literally broken out so much in spots. So hopefully my foundation will cover it all up. I'm gonna put my hair up now because my neck is sweating. I cannot cope in this heat. I've got my window like wide open. You probably can't see because the lighting's really bad. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna get on with this video. I hope you really enjoy. Okay, so I've popped my hair up in the in a bun so i've got you on my makeup drawers um which you'll all see soon once the bedroom is all complete um so i'm just going to start off with some primer i'm going to use the nyx honey dew um meetup primer love this i've literally probably just get the last little bits out and then i'll have to chuck it away um i really do apologize about the lighting i can't do much about it I'm not putting my ring light up now. <laughs> Haven't got time. I'm just gonna spray my prime and infuse Primark um, water. And then I'm gonna go in with my foundations. So I mix, um, so I've got the Superstay foundations and I mix light beige with ivory because I feel like ivory is getting a bit too orange for my skin tone now so I just mix the two together and it makes a perfect shade can we just talk about like how I'm actually going to be 20 on Friday it's actually crazy I can remember my 18th birthday like it was yesterday like it's mad um I'm sad in a way because I am no longer going to be a teenager it's sad though I am sad but I'll just I just say to everyone I'm gonna call myself 20 just so then I've still got the like teen in my name or in my age I should say um I don't know if we're going to spoons before for a drink uh but yeah I will try and film a little bit for you I know this is more like a get ready with me anyway so yeah and then I'm just gonna get my beauty blender and blend it all into my skin so I'll fast forward this for you now Okay, so I'm just blending this in now and honestly, it's just not like blending nicely. Like I am so sweaty, it's ridiculous. I've got like my towel on me that's like wet to cool my, like try and cool me down, but it's just not working. I just feel like my forehead has no coverage because I'm just sweating it all off. Like oh, this, this makeup look just isn't gonna be good. Like I can see it happening. It's just not great. I'm gonna try and blend as much as I possibly can. Okay, so I've blended that as much as I can. I'm then gonna go in with my um, Last Imperfection Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. Everyone probably knows by now that I use this stuff. And I'm just gonna pop it under my eyes, on my chin area on the top of my lip and then I just apply a bit more under my eyes just to get a bit more coverage. I'm gonna pop some on that spot as well. It's like a bloody crater that. apply my setting powder before I literally melt. I use the Spectrum AO5 brush and I'm just using the Stay Matte Rimmel London powder as well. 
I'm just gonna be really quick with this because I'm melting. My mum has just got out of the shower and she's saying the exact same, like it's nice for a few seconds, but then you just melt again. Okay, so I just applied my setting powder. Next step, I'm gonna apply my number seven bronzer in the shade Caramel. Everyone knows by now I use this. I literally use the same products all the time, so it never really changes. So I only apply this to bronze myself up because I always go really pale when I apply my powder. But I'll try and blend it as much as possible. I just love having a bronzed face. I'm a bit like Jordan Lips come though. I just never know when to stop with bronzer. gonna go in with my highlighter so I'm gonna use my doll highlighter um, in the shade like a diamond and just apply this on the tip of my nose what oh yeah you'll have to use your num the number seven I forgot that mum so today we took down um, the mirrored wardrobe in what is going to be our new bedroom to get rid of it and mum always used that as her mirror and she's just gone in there to get ready <laughs> and there's no mirror so she's gonna have to use the one in the bathroom um but yeah so i'm just applying the highlighter onto the tip of my nose like i said down a little bit onto the bridge of my nose the um what's it called something bow something bow on here onto here anyway and then onto the cheeks of my bones and just rise it up onto my temple and forehead a little bit so it looks a bit like that look at that glow we will apply something from this palette I haven't used this palette in so 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 long um so i'm gonna go in with my spectrum bo9 brush and i'm literally just gonna use the transition shade just to apply some um, eyeshadow on my eyes so it's not so plain. So the next thing I'm going to do before applying mascara and lashes is just spray some of my iconic prep set and glow. I've actually asked for another one of these for my birthday because I am so low on it and it's literally my favourite stuff. I'm just going to spray this all over my face to set it in place, give it a nice glow and hopefully it will cool me down a little bit. There you go and you can see the instant glow already. It does leave some spots sometimes which I really don't like. So I just wait for it to cool down a little bit and then I just, I don't know where you could have seen it then. Oh yeah, a bit on my forehead. So just dab it all in, set it into place. Um, and it just really gives me that nice glow. And don't worry guys, I will sort out this line afterwards. I always have a line, but I always sort it. And I really do apologize about the lighting, like it is horrendous, um, but there's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> There we go. Next step, I'm gonna apply my mascaras. So I use the Lash, Lash Sensational one and the Scandal Eyes Extreme one, just because one doesn't give me enough volume on one, so. But then I'll probably apply lashes anyway. I'm already talking a load of rubbish in this video. I do apologize, but I just thought it'd be a cool video just to show you my little birthday meal makeup, um, yeah start the birthday videos I suppose okay so that's one eye I got pins and needles oh my god oh my god ow that really hurts see how much volume that gives already it's mad I always have one eye that has shorter lashes than the other. Like, these lashes are really long, as you can see, and these ones aren't so great. 
and I keep looking where I'm not supposed to be looking. I It really irritates myself, so I apologise if it irritates you as well. And Callum's probably going to come in soon, so just ignore him. And this has gone so dark. What is going on with the lighting? Just taking some regular glow. Hopefully it doesn't irritate my eyeballs. And I'm going to apply a thin layer just in case. Just in case I get a reaction like I did a few weeks ago. I don't know if I put it on my Instagram actually, but it was actually quite funny how um, my eyes went. <laughs> so to apply my lashes, I'm going to be using the Albi um, lash applicator. This is so cute. So it comes in like a nice little box all wrapped up nicely with a thank you sticker on. And then it has a thank you sticker on here and it just says thank you for supporting my small business. And it comes in this cute little packaging literally love it so much i've never had one of these i just felt like i never needed one but just to support my sister i thought i'd get myself one and it's in this lush rose gold color and it's like a proper lash like good quality applicator so if you're looking for one then head over to albie's instagram or facebook page and grab yourself one they are two pound fifty and it's three pound hello <laughs> and it's three pound for shipping in the uk and then it's there he is i told you he'd be in here soon and then it's uh i can't remember what she said for worldwide shipping and then i think it's free delivery if you're local but yeah so you can just find them on the lb page you all right yeah you mm-hmm Get used to using these. Okay, so I just use my other tweezers as well because I'm not used to using those yet because they've got a wide bit at the end, but I'm sure I will get used to them. Um, but they're good for just like placing them on your eyes, which is handy. Okay, so that's the first eyelash on. I will tell you which lashes they are now. So they're the Pretty Little Thing Primer Lash Basics. And this I got last year for my birthday, actually, from Callum's sister. And then I place it where I need it. And then I'll get my other tweezers, just because I haven't got the hang of it yet. And stick it down. Eyelashes are stuck on. Um, I'm then going to go in with my NYX lip liner in the shade Sandstorm. So I'm just going to line my lips now. And then I'm going to take my Filler Instinct, um, this is NYX as well, it's a plumping lip polish. And this is in the shade Brunch Drunk. Such a nice colour. Look at that gloss. So pretty. I love the idea of having a darker lip and then a lip gloss. I don't know, it just makes my lip look bigger in a way, I don't know. Just gives that illusion. So just pop that all on. Beautiful colour that. Everything will look better when my hair's done. <laughs> Filled in my eyebrows with the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette with the middle colour. It's a brown colour. I just feathered that through my eyebrows a little bit and just brushed them up with a spoolie because I have no fixing gel left. Um, just to make them a bit more fuller. I don't normally draw my eyebrows on at all. So just made them a bit fuller and a bit darker. Yeah, I'm going to straighten my hair now. So I'll show you a quick like time lapse of that.
So I've got my outfit on. I literally cannot pull my jeans up anymore because I'm so sweaty. But I'm just wearing some black heels, which I'm going to get my mum to do up. I'm just wearing some jeans and this bodysuit, which is from... I saw it first. Um, and it just looks like that. So, yeah. We literally just got soaking wet. <laughs> Fab. Look at the state of me. Brilliant. Hi, Paul. Are you looking for the warehouse? Oh, there you go, Fab. Yeah, it's a bit nice. Hello. 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 Say hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Am I the blonde one? <laughs> She's going to go to the window. Hello, did she slap it? It all squared off of it. Oh, jeez. It's inside. I thought that was mine.